catchy. Remember when they changed the music? Yeah. Yeah. Second year. That's me, Dick Christie, and I'm proud to say I did that in one take. <laughs> uh, that's me, Marla Pennington. I also did this in one take. Little tiny waist on her. I know, crazy, Who are you talking huh? to over there, Marla? I think you. That's me, Jerry Suprian. There's Tiffany Brissett. Edie, I can't believe that you didn't uh, get a, a pre-credit. You know? Well, She's I would if, it, if I had a, a pre-contract. <laughs> 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 There's sweet Emily. You know, Howard, um, I, I can never, maybe you guys know, I can never remember Howard raising his voice or getting mad at any one of us. Do you guys? He did at me one time. Did he? I refused to do what I considered a racist joke. And he says, well, I'll, you you just won't have a joke at all. And I said, that's fine with me. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I missed that. I kind of remember mm-hmm. that. Open this can. <laughs> Well, uh, the recipe did call for just half a can. <laughs> Thanks. Hi. Hi. I'm starving. Is there anything to snack on? Yeah, right there, honey. This is 118th. This is the 18th right. episode. Right, right. Rabbit bread. Now, is this... Now, Jerry, do you remember... Were, were the mothers twist. getting along at this point? Well, I probably um, paint the I don't know. <laughs> did that I, impact you guys I, at all? I, I see, I... Me and Tiffany Talk and Emily were were really close with each other, and um, I just personally didn't get involved oh, so in any of the politics. Out of that stuff? Not at all. Um, you know, I did the schoolwork. We uh, did the scenes and and the rehearsals, and and that was it. You know, and right. I made sure that I kept out of everybody else's business. Yeah. Good for you. Well, there's nice an outfit. Apron. Nice apron. I'm wearing my cartoon <laughs> outfit. <laughs> Help yourself. There's a new jar. While I'm here, I do need a couple of other things. Only one because whose wardrobe got a laugh. Let me know, and I'd be glad to run down the store for you. <laughs> oh, that's sweet, but I wouldn't hear of it. No, 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 no. There it is again. See, now they, they really laugh because Ooh, now they're trained right. to it. Right. And they're waiting for right. it, which is great. Oh, I see. It's the cheap kind that turns your tongue black. I remember that line. (laughs) Honey, you won't believe what happened to me at work today. And right under that boob brindle's nose. (laughs) Uh, Ted, uh... (laughs) Oh, hi there, Bonnie. (laughs) Did you say my husband is a boob? Well, what happened today at the office right under the boob's nose? I just had a haircut then. Well, now, Joni, I'll just settle for the mayonnaise for now. It's not my brand, but I'll make do. <laughs> oh, what a couple she and Brandon make. Yeah, but a couple of what? I remember, look at those pants. Look how tight those were yeah, on me. You, you know what? I, I always thought so my waist was smaller, so I would make Sandra well, give me the smaller pants. Yeah, the you look a little pregnant there, I know, Nick. I do. It, it's <laughs> just, you know... Well, For a fairly a young guy, I got this little midriff today. bulge there. <laughs> and you always took a lot longer so to get dressed than so I did. Well, it took me a to half to hour to button pants. those pants. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if so those things, if that button springed off, I'd kill somebody. <laughs> said he wanted to talk to me alone. He said, I think this is when I started running. They have a proposition to make. <laughs> you know, I started after running. you saw that, yeah. Yeah, after I saw this, I said, I'm going to lose some I hope you don't mind, but I invited them to dinner tonight. Where are we going? Here. <laughs> oh, I was hoping for a place with more than one waitress. <laughs> well, honey, honey, I mean, it's much nicer. That was your only laugh line, I think, Marla. Well, you, you got a joke. You know, you know. Miss Exposition got a joke. Pizza. Oh, thank you. That'll give okay, me I'll have to point to them out to you. <laughs> Well, Vicky, what do you mean? Later on in the seasons, I got more. Well, honey, I think I've gone just about as far as I can developing Vicky here at home. I just don't have the equipment to explain. You know what, Marla? I remember this. But a huge company. This like was when this was the episode they have all the technical know-how where the world. You know, you'd be I bought I had bought a car. A new oh, car. Hi, hi. It was really great. Oh. But I didn't I like it. Time, maybe we gave it was a one. beautiful car. The it vet. was, but you liked it. I loved it. And I didn't like the car. And Marla kept admiring the car every day. And I said, Marla, do you, you want to buy this car for me? And you said, yeah. And remember, you bought the car. Cash. Cash. And 
As a joke, I had a license plate holder I found. And the license plate holder said... No, 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 let me set it up. I, I bought, bought this beautiful car, 568 SL, a beige champagne tone, yeah. and Dick had, when he sold me the car, it had one of those license plates on it that the police were not supposed to give you tickets. Right. And so I said to Dick, no, I bought the entire car. I keep that, too. And Dick didn't, got really upset about it. And, I, and you did well, what? Well, I, I didn't get upset about it. I thought it was funny. Oh, but you but oh. so I, I replaced the license plate holder with one that said, I'm blonde. I'm hot. I'm available. Follow me. And I put it on there, and she didn't see it. I didn't it. notice it for two days. Uh -oh. <laughs> she kept so I'm driving around on. with this stupid People thing are following on. her. They're honking at me. And finally, she saw it, and she came into rehearsal. I was so you, she mad. was so you would I was really to me mad for like two days. And Don, the prop guy, was just like <laughs> hold, holding me off, going, "Mo, it's okay, it's okay." And then he took it off for me. Don did. That's right. I'm hot. I'm blonde. I'm available. Follow me. I'll be too big to get in it. Oh, Dick, I'd forgotten about That's that. That's right. Harriet Brendel is coming. Are you sure? I can hear her footsteps on the lawn. <laughs> on the lawn? Wow, those microsensors in your ears are fantastic. I'll bet you can hear a fly walking. <laughs> Not right now, but there's a snail crawling somewhere. <laughs> Well, what we were doing? all really colorful. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, and Emily often it's had like multi bows Cindy in her Lopper. hair. Yeah. Like, but Jill, her Matching mom did all that. The, yeah. All the uh, yes. outfits. I've yep. never yep. had so much fun. Painting is one of the great joys in life. Was there paint on that brush? Really? Can no, I I, there wasn't. <laughs> no. no. Well, I hate to stop, but okay. Gee, <laughs> thanks. No, you know what there was. Was there? And but there was just enough like that I, all I could do is go back, back and, and forth, forth on the one on, one. Hi. Yeah. Uh, Vicky, would you come in and help me with the dips, please? Help with the dips, boy. It's true. Little people get the short end of the stick. <laughs> you know, I never understood why none of the uh, Harriet no, never Harriet. said. Why is she talking a monotone? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what's with that? Get you in as a member. You told me I can never join you. It's an guys. accent. Well, times change. Ah, you told me that's that right. Because she's a robot. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Duh. Times change faster nowadays. You know, it's funny. People used to Somehow stop me on the street now. again and, mm -hmm. and say, so where's Vicky the, Vicky the robot? And I would always say, she's in the trunk of my car. <laughs> 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 Until a mother got upset with that and oh. said, Boy, and said, you know, that that's really bad. abusive. And I said, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't have her in the trunk of my car. I'll get it, honey. Oh, thanks. Honey, I think this is going to be really interesting tonight. I've uh, programmed Vicky with a few tidbits, but I'm not going to tell him she's a robot till later. I want to see how long she can fool these experts. Oh, good evening, Mr. Lawson. Mr. Andrews, Mr. Yamoto, please come in. Thank you. Oh, oh. oh I remember them. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, uh, this is my wife, Joan, and my daughter, Vicky. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I appreciate your recognition of the customs of Japan, but I was born in Detroit and I have a bad back. <laughs> Sorry. Stop, Vicky. <clears throat> yes, uh, straighten up, Vicky. <laughs> She's always kidding. Actually, Vicky is quite a student of Japanese culture. Japan. Founded in 660 BC, gained much from other societies such as ice cream from the Italians and gunpowder from the Chinese. The Japanese were the first civilization to have exploding ice cream. <laughs> you know, that's a lot it, to memorize. It, it, it was a lot to memorize, and I forgot. She's a fast learner. It, it is really hard to talk in a monotone. I mean, it's really difficult. Yeah. So she really did well. Uh, and Tiffany's a very animated girl. Yeah. <laughs> now that was. That was Disney coming in on a Thursday, which usually was a block camera that's day. That's right. So that's in the green screen. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, and now, and now you, you see, they had to come in, the two men and Tiffany really and Dick, but I didn't. I was off to one side. Yeah. I didn't want to get up early and get in makeup and hair. That didn't break the first time we did it. That's remember? right. We, uh, 
I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I always hated the special effects because if you were in the special effects, that means you had to come in Thursday, Thursday early. Thursday early, yeah. hair, makeup, wardrobe. And stand around a long time. Oh. So, yeah. You had to be there every Thursday. And, yeah. and we were, yeah, because you did some you, stuff yeah, with her. Yeah. But Dick and I yeah, got I masters of kind of scooting out of the shop. That's right. <laughs> Bad. Uh, would you settle for a little white wine? White wine? Uh, yes. Uh, oh, it's a good year. March. <laughs> I, I, That's yours, Dick. I, yeah, that was yeah, my line. Totally I said I that to somebody <laughs> about three months ago. <laughs> Did they laugh? I was <laughs> serving yeah, somebody some all, wine, and yeah, like <laughs> they, they laughed well, like crazy. Point, Mr. Lawson. We could use a man like you in our company. Well, Dick was always goofing around, oh, making up crazy songs. And well, I'm, uh, very I'm creative. Very flattered. I, uh, well, yeah, and I, I remember I would, if I would mess up a line. And handshakes. The wildest handshake. Yeah, yes, oh, yeah. that's right. He talked. Right. We, talk we used to have those. Come on, yeah. we can do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that's, that's right. about as much of a dad as, as I yeah, remember. Right. Yeah, we used to have lots of fun on the set. With a much more interesting daughter. What do you mean? Of course, I remember whenever I'd forget a line in rehearsal, and I'd always say, damn. And, in the field and of Tiffany's mother would get all upset with me. Remember that? What she looks like. She she looked was, at him like he was I a was a feather. heathen. And she broke that table <laughs> with well, I mean, I probably was, but... Uh... Even Bruce Lee couldn't do that. <laughs> well, especially now that he's dead. <laughs> and we also know that he works on secret projects for his company. Do you guys remember Maybe that I used to make uh, cheesecakes mm -hmm. after the shows? She's a robot. Yep, Marla's desserts. Yeah. That would be remarkable. Those were great. But Marla never ate any of them. <laughs> no, I was, I was a big runner back then. <laughs> what are you kidding? Who needs Lawson? Yeah, there were a few times that um, you taught me how to uh, melt the milk chocolate. Yeah. To, and you introduced me to white chocolate. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome, white chocolate cheesecake. <laughs> oh, I had so many of them. But on the show, well, the only thing that you would I'm eat were the um, grapefruits and strawberries. Right, right, exactly. Might not be bad to live in the Silicon Valley either. Hi. Man, I sure worked up an appetite pin in that clubhouse. You worked up an appetite watching Harriet paint it. That's your opinion. Who would eat that pizza? That looks disgusting. Jamie, you didn't. Oh, no, you don't. I think I did. That's why I, I caviar, couldn't fit in the cavi suit. Oh. <laughs> you the club and she painted it. You and your big electronic years. <laughs> well, Jamie, your next club meeting might be held in the Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley? Correction. I heard the man say, who needs Lawson when his back is turned will just borrow the robot. Oh, Ted! Vicki, are you sure that's what he said? She used to love when she got to mimic someone because right, exactly. then she got to go out of the uh, monotone. Yeah. Dum, dum, dum. Well, you know, I didn't fool them for a second with Vicky. Hadn't you better call the police, Dad? Well, what proof do I have except for Vicky's word? Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> and then I'd have to reveal that she's a robot. Well, what I'll do is I'll report them to plant security tomorrow as industrial spies. But in the meantime, I think we should all pretend like we don't know anything and just keep a close eye on Vicky, all right? Right. Uh, Jamie, you take Vicky to your room and stay with her. Gotcha. But how can we be sure she's a robot? Hi, kids. Hi. Sayonara. <laughs> hey, I have got a great idea. Don't worry, honey. Vicky's going to be OK. Yeah, but what is I'm worried a lot. Yeah, you <laughs> I'm, I'm really worried. <laughs> uh, we just happen to be looking out our window, and, and we just happen to see those two guys from Tentrex come to your front door. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that was a, that was a complete surprise to us, too, wasn't it, honey? Complete? <laughs> oh. Gee, I hope we're not interrupting your din-din. Yeah, I never even noticed uh, the, the houses in the, through the window really? when we were doing it. Yeah. I just remember that it was the big screen. <laughs> and now I look at it, and I'm like, Does, did that really pass off as thinking? houses <laughs> what are we thinking and <laughs> remember right behind that i had set up my my golf mat and net so i could yes, hit golf balls <laughs> into the into the net oh jerry you'd love that now <laughs> yeah for sure so we'll stay oh good i love pizza it's not exactly my favorite but we'll make do 
Well, Bonnie, why don't we go in and say hello to our guests? This is better than having them at our house. No dishes. Hi there. Guess who's coming to dinner? Oh, Mr. Brindle, uh, nice to see you again. Same here, Mr. Andrews. You too, Mr. Moto. It's Yamoto. Oh, well, nice to see you again, Ya. Yeah? Call me Brandon. <laughs> Uh, this is his wife, Bonnie, and his daughter, Harriet. Hi. Hi. Right. Hi. Yeah, that's them. <laughs> Harriet, why don't you go play in Jamie's room? Okay. Nice meeting you, Mr. Andrews. You too, Mr. Yaw. <laughs> uh, listen, please sit down. Dinner will be ready in just a minute. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I hate to tear you away, but could you give me a hand in here? Tear me, tear me. <laughs> that was my attempt at uh, Alan Alda. <laughs> See, I, you did a little Groucho. Yeah, he did. Uh, Alan Alda. Yeah. I suppose uh, Brandon shouldn't be. Because Mash was so popular at that time, I thought, well, if I'm going to be as successful as I can be, I'll have to do an impression of Alan Alda. Excuse me, I think I left my car phone off the hook, and I'll be right back. It's also funny because this was the first season. This was in '85, I think. So, and, and Silicon Valley was just starting. Right. Then, really so. You'll love this guy. I have invented a dog collar with an alarm on it in case somebody tries to steal your pet. Hmm? And it really works. Mm. He tested it on me. See, and now that would be <laughs> something that I would buy. Yes. No <laughs> yeah. To steal her and I, I think I've heard of them. <laughs> yeah. I win again. I'm tired of losing to you all the time. Can you throw a game? <laughs> throw a game. <laughs> I think we can hear him in the background. David Ruprecht used to come to the show. You could he was always my hear best David. Friend, and he had this great laugh okay. that would actually uh, stimulate the audience. And uh, David, by the way, a uh, terrific actor. Um, he hosted when? Supermarket Sweep. He was my best friend, I and I also screen tested against him <laughs> for this role. Oh, my goodness. Did you know that? No. Yeah, it was David David's and so I. competitive. He oh my, my was my best friend. It was horrible. I mean. Yeah, but we look so much alike. That's why you got it. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got the role? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's me. And I remember you got. You got like fifty dollars more, more than I did. Salary. I couldn't believe that. <laughs> but that was the last one cast. I played hard to get. Uh, and I just and, come and, off and, happy and days. And it's because right? of me that you and got the role. The oh, I know. You love to tell the story. Tell it again. Well, what happened was Marla, they couldn't find Joan Lawson. They couldn't I find the anybody to play. And and they, they t screen tested and everybody. And finally, the friend. last screen test, they had Don Wells from G Gilligan's <laughs> Island. They had um, Captain uh, Tennille, wasn't it? Tony oh yeah, Tenille. Tony Tennille and Marla came in and screen tested with me. Those were the three, the three <laughs> finalists. I wonder why I got and it. And Howard came up and he said, "Who was so the I, other one? Tony Tennille, Tony Tennille and Don um, Don Wells from Don Gilligan's Wells. Island." And so <laughs> Howard Howard said after the screen test, he said, "So how'd you like Don?" It's I said, "Well, she she was great. Uh, she oh, was really fun." Was she wearing how'd those like shorts? <laughs> No, she wasn't. Uh -huh. I might have had a different opinion. If you had. But and uh, uh, in Japan instead of so, Niagara Falls. So he said, "How'd you like Tony Tennille?" Now Tony Tennille didn't even memorize our lines oh, for nice. the screen test. And I said, "Well, she was she was fine." And he said, "Well, how'd you like Marla?" I said, "Marla was great. Didn't you love the way we played off each other, Howard?" He said, "You know, I thought that too." And so, but it was really only Dick got me the job. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you were pretty good. <laughs> and I don't take credit for that. Oh, of well, not. see, now that it's done, though, there could not be another Joan. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, it's true for all of us. Yeah. And Joan was named after Howard's girlfriend at the time, now wife, Joan. Oh, hmm. That's right. Here you go. Bottoms up. <laughs> and I and Ted was named after... His dog. <laughs> No. <laughs> it was one of the Fox executives, or one oh, of the yeah. one Metro Media executives. Ted K. Ted K. Right. And they were going to name me Joey, but uh, Joey Lawrence was uh, doing Give Me a Break. And so they had to do Jamie. Interesting. I'll give him two days' notice and tell him to shove it. 
<laughs> We'd like to uh, maybe discuss your ideas just a little further. Perhaps we could have dinner tomorrow night. Bring your wife and your daughter, too, of course. Well, why wait till tomorrow? What's the matter with tonight? We could order our own pizza. Uh, Harriet! Harriet, come in here! Oh, but wouldn't that be awfully rude to the Lawsons? Oh, yes. Harriet, come on, we're leaving! <laughs> I love it, Edie. <laughs> Ah, so subtle. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't get nominated for an Emmy. <laughs> oh, that'd be too bad. Uh, regrettably, we have to be going too. I'm sorry, but something important came up and it just demanded my immediate attention. Come on, Harriet, we're leaving. Without eating? <laughs> Eating was always a big theme. It was. Uh, for the Brendels. Please accept my apology. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I wonder what happened. I'll bet that weasel Brandon is up to something. I wish I could have heard their conversation. Yeah. I heard their conversation. What did they say, Vicky? One of the industrial spies said, Vicky's not the robot. The robot is Harriet. Harriet? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, do they have a surprise coming with Harriet? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, who is that, Dick? You're imitating. Uh, I don't know. That was uh, I came up with that on my you, own. Yeah, that's you. He's uh, an original. Uh... Two guys. <laughs> that's a joke, Vicky. That's your opinion. <laughs> they, but they would always work those in, you know, where they would harken back. Yeah, yeah. To. Uh... Oh, this is Pinky directed oh, this. Oh yeah, Sully Frank. Yeah. He... Pinky was. Uh... He was he, the assistant director, and he wanted to direct in the worst way. Oh, like yeah. Big Howard. He would he and, would spend nights, he said, And yeah. he was the, the most fun to work with. He was so to, sweet. He was a, just so much fun. He had two we had so much. Remember, we had so much fun doing his shows. Yeah. Uh, whenever he directed, it was, well, for the kids, it was, the, I know, yeah. that it was, it was so much fun. We always had a blast. Yeah. He prepared so much in advance. There's Don. He was the nicest man. They all yeah. were nice. It was like it was like we became a family. We really did. Yep. 